Hi everyone, my name is Nathan Faith. I'm a financial planner with Boulay Financial Advisors. I wanted to reach out to give you a high level overview of the stimulus package that's making its way through Congress. Know that Mike Crabtree within our tax department will provide a more detailed analysis of the bill, but we, we want to provide you the cliff notes here today. So to start, how big is this stimulus package? So how big is this stimulus package? It's tough to really comprehend how big the dollars are until we see them out in front of us. The stimulus package is $900 billion, which is half the size of the stimulus package that was kicked out back in March. If we think about how much this means on average to each American citizen, and there's roughly 300 million Americans. What this works out to be is approximately $3,000 per person. Now we each won't get $3,000. This will come out to us in various forms of payments. But if you think about the average American family, there are two adults, two children, four people all together. This works out to about $12,000 per family. That's a lot of money that's being injected into our system over really the coming months. So of the stimulus law, how much may you be eligible for? Let's start with our small business owners. Back in March, a program called the Paycheck Protection Program was created to help our businesses get through the initial stages of the pandemic and the subsequent recession before they really had a clear idea of how they would be impacted over the long term. With this new law, a new round of loans is being created, but in a more targeted fashion. This time, businesses can apply for a second loan, a second round of this forgivable loan program, but they need to prove that they've been negatively impacted in any one quarter this year relative to last year to a fairly significant degree, specifically have their revenue be down at least 25%. A business can apply for a loan that would cover 12 weeks worth of qualifying expenses, which by and large are the same as the expenses that were eligible in the last program, namely payroll, rent, utilities, and other overhead expenses. There is a limit to the maximum loan, but it's still significant at $2 million. There's also been a significant clarification from the original program. Many businesses, qualified for a loan, ultimately applied for or have received forgiveness of most or all of that loan. But the IRS had interpreted the past law to mean that those expenses that were forgiven through this program would not be tax deductible to the business. And ultimately the business would have a higher tax bill than what was originally intended with the law. What this means is the legislation clarified this issue and made it so that it's not left up to the IRS's interpretation, but really is laid out clearly in the law. So therefore, all dollars that have or will be forgiven through the Paycheck Protection Program are now considered to be tax deductible by the federal government. This is a huge clarification for our business owners and should eliminate a very significant tax expense that otherwise would have been due and would have resulted in potentially a third or more of their Paycheck Protection Program loan forgiveness being paid right back through the form of income taxes. What about payments directly to us as individuals? Back in April and May, there's a program initiated by the government in which we could receive direct checks 
based off of how large our family was to really get money in the bank. That program is being reinitiated. However, this time around, the payments may be a bit lower. This time for each adult in your household. So if you're single, one, if you're married, two, the amount that could be received is $600 per person. There are also payments for each dependent child that you have in your household, specifically those under the age of 18. You may qualify for up to $600 per child on top of the amounts that you receive per adult. In the prior program, the amount was actually a little lower, $500 per child. Now again, this program is means tested, meaning if your income is too high, you may lose out on some or all of this benefit. And the phase out begins at $75,000 per adult. So that's $75,000 for a single person or $150,000 for a married couple. And the government's gonna use the same tax return as they used last time. So if you qualified last time, you should qualify again for this go around. What could those payments look like? If you're a family of four, the maximum benefit you could receive is $2,400, $600 for each adult, $600 for each child. If you're in that phase out range, you could receive a little less. Regarding the direct payments, there's nothing that you need to do. The government's already tracking who received payments last time. And because of that, we may be receiving these payments as early as next week, being the week before New Year's. So these dollars are going to hit bank accounts and help Americans in very, very short order. Then we move on to folks who are out of work. There have been enhanced unemployment benefits provided since the pandemic really began. With this bill, they're set to be extended for nearly three more months through mid-March. And not only will those who are unemployed continue to receive state benefits, but they'll also receive a kicker from the federal government called an enhanced benefit, which would be an additional $300 per week. That's a little less than what it was throughout the summer when it was $600 per week. But again, it's an extra boost to hopefully get those who are unemployed through the next few months. And finally, there are a number of other benefits mixed into the stimulus program that help those who are behind on rent, loans directly to small businesses, specifically those who are minority owned, as well as funding to continue to disseminate the vaccines quickly throughout our population, support for schools and the like. With the stimulus bills passing, we will now have received $3.2 trillion of direct stimulus from the federal government, which if you do the math works out to over $30,000 per American family. A lot of money to help us get through this pandemic and through this recession. But no, this may not be the last of the stimulus injections. President-elect Joe Biden is saying this is really another installment. And we may see another bill presented early in his term in the late winter. So know those of us at Boulay will have our ear to the ground regarding this bill as well as future bills. But if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us at learnmore at boulaygroup.com. Thanks for tuning in and have a wonderful holiday. 